accounts are once again in danger. That's right, everyone. The troglodytes have once again crawled out of their dingy, dank caves to spread their dirty waft around the lands of Roblox. Basically, the Crosswood Hackers are back. If you were just born last week and don't know what the Crosswoods hack was, the Crosswoods hack was probably one of the most insane, like, Roblox hacks in the history of Roblox. It was literally a game that you could send to anyone. You could send it to your teacher. You could send it to your brother. You could send it to that guy that you really hate who stole your crayon in preschool. It was a game where if you joined it, you would get banned. And the way it worked was they'd hijack your chat without you even seeing it while you were waiting for the game to load and then mass report you to Roblox. Then Roblox is like, oh my God, this guy is literally speaking war crimes. We need to delete him from the internet. And boom, your account would get banned. And they literally made kids cry like a literal kid Twitch streamer. Oh, did you hack my account? It was disgusting, and Roblox eventually got onto it and got it removed, and we thought peace had been restored to the land. But alas, we were wrong. We should have known better. It turns out the Crosswoods did a little Robbie Rotten disguise trick and turned into an entirely new game. This time it's called The Silence. The way that we got alerted to this game's existence was by losing one of our comrades, a fallen soldier who we will all salute, Fallen Synapse, who posted a Twitch clip on Twitter saying, them hackers that say bad words, even though it's not showing chat is back. Take a look at the clip I clipped on Twitch. And if you can bring yourself to suffer through the pain and torture of having to look at another of these games, you'll see the guy. He goes to join the game. It's like, welcome. This game contains jump scares. Then you see the screen. It's like, it's feared. It's more feared than like the devil himself. Like if you captured a photo of this screen and then took it to one of like those uncontacted tribes that are in the middle of the ocean, even they would start freaking out and they'd start like shooting arrows at you because they fear that screen screen. So it begins loading again. He goes through the whole loading process, blah, 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 waiting because someone said, oh, hey, can you check out my new game? And he's, he's being kind. He's looking out for him. Then you get disconnected with probably the disconnection that everyone pees their pants at least once in their life. Like we've all gone through that before, but it gets even worse for him. Because as it continues, when he leaves okay. and goes back to the ugly Roblox program browser, oh, banned for one day. And I can't show what he got banned for, but uh, you just imagine some vile, vile things like uh, your mum stealing your spaghetti and having it for herself because you were too late to dinner but even worse. Like I really said, you really, really, really need to be suspicious of any link that you get set on the internet, especially when it comes to like Twitch chat and, and Roblox games as well when in, this, in these sort of situations. Like it could be your uh, mother, it could be your best friend who you know and love, but he could be doing a little trolling not knowing just how bad the game is. What I recommend if you really, really did want to play this game or maybe a guy in like a ski mask had a gun to your head and was like, play this Roblox game or you're gonna die, son. Well, I'd look up the Roblox game first on the actual Roblox platform, the Roblox website, and then have a look at the play account and see how many likes and dislikes it has, especially how many visits it has. If it only has like five, six or seven visits, has some dislikes and like no players playing it at all, then I get really suspicious and I'm like, is it, do I really wanna press this knowing that something like this could happen or worse? Now that's all good and all, but Devon, what if I was like a bacon hair sizzled brain and I already pressed it and I got banned from Roblox. Well, that's one of the rare times where Roblox support will actually revert your account because it wasn't your fault. And they're well aware of this situation. So they're probably gonna believe you if you do say that. And they can see which games you've been in. For those of you naughty boys who are gonna try and uh, give them the old fake out when you are actually saying naughty things towards your mother in chat. In fact, I think the previous streamer I mentioned has already got his account unbanned. Cause in his next tweet, he says, now that my Roblox hacking problem has come to an end, I would like to blah, 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 where it goes into detail about another problem he has, which is spam bots, which is a whole nother beast that's not related to Roblox. But anyway, stay safe out there, all of you, and smash subscribe if you found this helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.